my lovelies i hope you're all well so we are in design space today for desktop so that could be your desktop or a laptop and it's windows or mac we're also in beta so there is a new function available which is editable images it's available to everyone so monogram which was recently added is only available for access members editable images is available to everyone it's only available on desktop so again that could be your laptop or your actual tower system and it will be windows or mac and it's only available in the beta version of design space so if i go to my settings you can see that i'm currently set to beta if i was set to live I will not have editable images as an option for the time being. So if you want to be able to use this on a desktop, you must be in beta. As we should all know by now, beta also gives us the combination options. If we open up editable images, there are currently 151 images, but Cricut is saying they're going to continue adding to this. There's a whole range of image types. We've got cut, we've got draw, and of course we could turn these into a print and cut if we wanted to as well. Because they're available as draw images, we can use them with the foil tool, we could use them with the engrave. So we've got lots of options with these images. And as I say, Cricut are saying that they are going to continue to add to them. You can see we've got a whole range of different images here. We've got Valentine's, Easter, uh, birthday things. We've got Christmas. We've got vacation. There's some mother ones, some father ones. There's teacher ones, wedding ones. So there is a nice selection. 151 images is limited. Uh, but as I say, we are hopeful that they're going to start adding to these quite quickly. You'll see that when you look at them, they'll tell you if they are a cut or a draw. And you'll see that they are all two colors. So they will have a black layer and then a blue layer. The blue layer is the editable text. So if you see it in blue, it means that we can change the text and we can change the font as well. So we're going to choose this one here and we can see it's a cut. And even though the text is in gray, it's still got that blue outline. And we're going to select this draw one as well. And again, we can change the date and the text in the name. I'm gonna add them to canvas. I'm going to do the cut file first. So I'm just gonna come in and double click on the text and I can then change it to the word I want. And if I then highlight it, I can come up to fonts. I can select either a Cricut font and I can keep my current on or off. And I can choose one of the Cricut fonts. And I can of course increase the size of it and move it around the box if I want to or I could change to a system font and I could select one of my system fonts. Now, even though it's editable and it's set to blue, once we edit it, it becomes part of that layer. So if we go to make it, you'll see it's there exactly as we have set it out. So we would only need to attach it together if we had ungrouped it. And if we wanted to create different layers, we would either ungroup it or use our contour to do so. And we have got videos on these. If I wanted to switch to a cursive font, I can. That's perfectly kerned, but if it wasn't, I could use either my letter spacing or I could ungroup to letters and then manually move my letters and then hold down my shift key to select all of them and unite them together. However, because I have then ungrouped it, 
if we go to make it, they'll either be on a separate mat or it won't be in the position it was meant to be in. So we will then need to attach it together if we want it all in one layer. I've got this draw file here. I can select the date and I can then choose whatever date I want. I can go into my fonts and filter it to a writing font like so and then I can increase the size if I want to and of course I could change the pen color to a different color. I can also come in and edit the names and again I could edit the font if I wanted to and I can increase or decrease the size and I could again change the color if I wanted to and I could come in and by detaching I could change the color on each of my layers. Because it's set to draw I can attach it and it will still keep its individual colors but when I go to make it it will draw exactly as we want it to with the colors that we want it to unlike with a cut. And there we go, there is editable images. As I say, there's 151 at the moment. I'm excited to see which other ones they bring in. You must be on desktop, so that, as I say, it would be your tower system or your laptop, Windows or Mac, and you must be running on beta. It's available to everyone, which is fantastic, so you do not have to be an Access member to be able to use this new feature. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.